What's up guys, Corvus95 here and welcome to episode 45 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Balls. So, let's get underway straight away with ball number one. So, we have a Mew, but for Alligator is a problem. We can Will-O-Wisp. It's a good start. He avoids the attack, gets a crunch off. So that's a problem. We can Willow again. Get the burn off. He shouldn't be able to kill me now. We can Roost. See how much Crunch does? It does about the same as it did originally. It does exactly the same actually. She's going for a Dark type move. We can switch out into, we don't have a dark resist. Hmm. I can just roost up. Okay, that's a problem. I may have to let Mew go down. Can Psy Shark hope that kills? It doesn't. We'll get crit though, and he almost takes out Mew. Which means that we win this battle. Unless he has Aqua Jet. So it's a tie, that's okay with me. It gets rid of one problem. We can go for. Let's go Arceus. What's he gonna go for? So I've got an electric type Arceus. With Fire Blast. That's nice. Let's go for the Fire Blast. Or the Calm Mind. Which one? Let's Calm Mind. He taunts. Good play. Fire Blast. Takes him down to the low. Get a burn off, very nice. Let's fire blast again. He's gonna switch. What out into is the question. Right, what's he gonna do? Come on, make a decision. Moon blast, good choice. So we take out the Wings of Cart, and we'll lose our Taunt. Which is very nice. What's he gonna bring out? So he's got, had a, fire, uh, had a water type and a grass type so far. Now he's got a normal type. Let's will that. We should outspeed. We get the will off. So at this point, all three of his Pokemon have been burned. So since it's burned, we should have no problem going out into... Spinda. Okay, we'll have a problem now, because of Heal Bell. Score Superpower. Spinda's animation is just hypnotic. Looks like it's about to fall over and it steadies itself. It's a bit like Beyonce at the Super Bowl. Okay, Body Slam does 40% and paralyzes me. That sucks. That really sucks. Add Superpower again. Gets a crit. I get a Superpower, but does half. But I go down. That paralysis really sucked. Let's go keep track. So I have an air balloon. Let's go for the lava plume. What 
what's he gonna do? He likes to think out his moves, this guy. And that's something I've realised. People in random mills seem to think out their moves more than people in actual TH battles. I'm gonna outspeed. The flash cannon should not kill because water resists. Let's call you Fiat. Ice beam, shell smash. Good play. Very good play. Leaf blade. Please survive one hit, Leaf Yard. Please outspeed Arceus. We're not going now. No! We're losing to an Omastar. I should have went out in the Quag Zone in the first place. I was a bit of an idiot there. I always do that. When I have an unaware Pokemon. Actually, this one's Water Absorb. So. I wasn't an idiot. But. I would have been if it was an unaware Quagsire and I had no idea there wasn't. This was Scald, I absorb it. So now there's an Earth Power coming for me. And now we can go for the Scald. Because it'll KO and it can possibly burn a switch in if he brings one in. Right, so Amistar goes down. Why are we are we life orb? Why are we life orb? We are life orb. Why would you run life orb Quagsire? That's not what Quagsire is meant to do. We're gonna try to recover. Mega Scizor goes for the sword stance. Now we can go for the skull, try and get burn off. You might one shot us if you have like knock off or something like that. Apologies if I sound a bit weird because I'm full of cold. We'll get the burn first turn, very nice. Let's go for another scald. Why am I staying there? I have a heat trap. That was a bad play by me. He has superpower, 100%. School lava flow. Take go the sizzle. I think he did have superpower though, which is why he wasn't worried about the heat trap switching. Mill tank can come in, if it has EQ, he wins. Because I don't think I can take it out in two hits. Maybe if it's on 59%. In the first turn he has to body slam in the second turn. Okay, this is definitely going to have EQ. We can flash cannon. Almost take it out. He goes for the knockoff, gets rid of our air balloon. We can flash cannon again. So like I said, if the metal tank has EQ, he wins. Armaldo got rid of my balloon. Now metal tank comes out. Let's go for the lava plume. It's a better play. He gets the para first turn again. What is this? How do you get para twice first turn? I suppose... Oh, and you got first turn power as well. What? So I'm going to lose because he's just para para paralyzing me to death. And I'm not getting the 30% burn. It would, if I had got it there, I could have took him out. Use milk drink. Or you can kill me. There, we've got burn. 
if we live the body slam, we win. Okay, you went for milk drink. Oh, there we go. There we go, that's the loss. Why? Now the problem's just back and you're just going to stall even more. You're really hoping for two turns of Paralyze. Come on, get crit when he's low. Just kill me, you're faster and you one shot. Sorry about this guys. Quite an annoying opponent who won't finish me off for some reason. Now what am I... Let's go for a flash cannon. Now let's lava blue. Oh, why couldn't you have crit? You would have killed him. He's on 8%. We did crit. Is he going down? He went down a burn! That's what you get for trying to stall me out. Right, so we'll win battle number one. I don't know how, but we'll have. Okay, we'll have a Wheelord against a Klefki. Well, it outspeeds me. I have Hidden Power Fire. And I'm choice spec, so that's a pretty good move. Let's go for it. Goes for the toxic, I should have water spouted. He has a sash. That's okay. That's HP fire again. Take out the Klefki. Right, what's my opponent going to bring out next? Toxic Rogue. You're not dry skin, are you? I'd love if you were. Sword stances. I go off the hidden power, it does 42%. Takes me out, that's okay. I was sucking off Wheel Order at that point anyway. Question is, does he have knockoff? The question is, does a vault switch kill him? Because I have speed. Let's vault switch. He has sucker punch. Oh. Voltage takes them out, very nice. Galvanchina is now a death switch in. Let's bring out on a star. We'll take some damage from the spikes. It's really good to get spikes or stealth wrap up early because then you break any focus ashes your opponent's team has. Alright, Mammal Swine. Can I live one hit? We'll have to chance it. I can't. Okay. Let's go... Let's go Reuniclus. Reu and let's go for the... Psy Shark or Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball. EQ does a lot. Shadow Ball doesn't. That's annoying. So he's going EQ. If you were the other type of Gertie, then you'd be immune. So he's Life Orb. What's your speed? 168. So Kringus can't out speeds. I should have went I should go out in the Galvantula at this point. Sack it off. And then go out in Kringus car. And 
since I have speed, I can power up punch. That doesn't kill, really? Wow, I misplayed so hard there. I seriously thought that would kill. So it's a double down. Out comes Giratina. My opponent pretty much has this in the bag. Well, he has a Crooked Tune, so not so much, but... Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp. We'll miss. Of course we do. We should have just Dragon Pulsed. He goes for knockoff, gets rid of our lefties. Let's Dragon Pulse again. Goes for X Scissor and we may go down the poison here. We don't, we can take him out. It's Dragon Pulse again, goes out in a fur through. Good job I didn't change to Shadow Ball, as I wanted to. And he's going to outspeed Reuniclus, so good game to my opponent. I have to recover. Ooh, he sucker punched. Helpful. Calm mind then. Return. We can get off another recover. Goes out in a cricket tune. Can we live one hit? Toxics. Good play. Take out the cricket tune. So the play for me to make there was recover. Goes out in a Deoxys. Let's go Shadow Ball. Goes for Taunt. We kill the Deoxys. Now we just have to kill the Fair Fruit. But I believe I go down a U-turn. Because he has massive defense because of Fur Coat. No, we go down a U-turn. Because it does 36%. So good game to my opponent. The Taunt won him the game. He sacked off the Deoxys for it. So very good play. One more battle. Battle number three. These take a lot longer than tiered battles. So we have a Dialga against his far fetched. This doesn't seem fair. Let's stealth rocks. Or let's stealth rock, not rocks. It doesn't say rocks. Stealth rock. Chansey comes in. Good play by my opponent. We can go out into. We have a lot of physical attackers. Is he going to try and paralyze? I think he is. He seismic tosses. Okay, so that gets rid of my plan of substituting. Let's baton pass out into Ho-Ho. He gets his stealth rocks up, so I switched in on the perfect time there. And he's 75. Do I have I have 275 HP, so I'm I'm not strong enough to go for a substitute and leave his seismic toss. Let's say good fire. Take out the far fetched. Only just though. How did far fetch live a sacred fire? Ooh, this is a tough play. Do we stay in and get one shot, or switch out and p potentially get one shot later on? If you only you had Bullet Seed, it'd be such an easy call. I don't have anything to go effective on Quagsat. Let's just go Brave Bird. There's almost half, gets a Scald off doesn't do that much. So now we can KO him. Is he gonna switch out? No. It's gonna let his Quagsire go down. Well done, Ho-Oh. 
You've done your job so far. What's coming in now? A galleot. Shadow sneak, potentially. Brave bird it. Chansey comes in. So he wanted me to go for Brave Bird. Is basically what happened there. And let's go. See, we could go Sacred Fire, but we have a chance of miss. We're going down this turn anyway. So that's Brave Bird. Goes out a masquerade, sacks it off. You're going down, no matter what. Ho Ho goes down. We can go out into. So he's bringing Gallad in, I think. Let's go and move Mulga. Chansey comes in, takes stealth rock damage. We can go for a T Bolt. Come on, take it out. Please take it out. Please do 11% with Stab with one of the strongest electric diamonds. We do take out the Chansey. Very good. We took out a member of the Blissey family with a special type move from an Amanga. Okay, Shiftry. That's Air Slash. He sucker punches, takes me out. I knew I should have substituted. Let's go out into Greninja. Because we resist dark, we can go for the U turn. Which will. Do pretty good against the Gallade as well. Take out the Shiftry. We can now go out into... Well, Chinchi no will outspeed the Gallade. And it can go for... It's going to be Mega Gallade, isn't it? Pretty much. Right, let's go Chinchi no. And we're skill link choice band. Interesting. So Tilsat may do half ish to the Gallad, but then it'll probably just drain punch me. Come on, you have one Pokemon. You have one choice. One option. You don't you can't go back out into Chansey or into Quagsire. You have to go out into Gallad. Okay, and I will come back when he finally makes a move. Okay, so he sent out Gallad. Now I'm not sure, is he's going to be Mega Gallad. So I'm not going knock off. U turns a potential move, but I don't know why I switch out until everything's weak to it. And I have nothing super effective against it. Let's go Tail Slap. Oh ho 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 Chinchino coming through and we get two wins for today. Very nice. So yeah, that's going to be the end of episode 45 of my Pokemon Showdown Random Balls. Drop a like if you've enjoyed the video. Comment down below your thoughts on the video and on Pokemon Showdown in general. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And from me, Corvus95, thank you for watching and goodbye.